subscription. Whoops, that's the wrong one. We have a great one called Tortellini Soup. Slow Cooker Tuscan Tortellini Vegetable Soup. So I'm making that one today. So in my crock pot, I've got six cups of chicken broth. They suggested vegetable, I didn't have it. So nice thing about the uh, taste bud subscription as opposed to something like Chef's Fleet, you get to substitute. You can put in what you have, you can put in what you normally keep, you can put in what you normally use, and work around that. So it calls for the uh, six cups of the broth, half a cup of wine, had some left over in the fridge, but you don't know how that happened. <laughs> and it calls for a package of the Tuscan Herb Chicken Mix. This is one of our new seasonings. It's available in a three pack. So this comes along um, does not have any cheese in it. An important thing for me, also important for anything, um, anyone that you know, most of our seasonings are uh, gluten-free as well, but that can be provided on request if something is or isn't. Uh, they're all non-GMO. Pardon me while I get some scissors to open this up. So in goes the whole package. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Does that ever smell good? I'm going to put that to the to one side. I'm going to use one of my absolute favorite tools. Now, some people love the serrated peeler. I love this guy. It does a really good job. And I love my carving board, aka cutting board. It's so much better for the knives because the wood does get the um, the little slice marks on top of it, but your knives will stay sharp much longer. And that's going to give you a much more efficient cut. It's going to give you a much longer lasting knife, and it's going to get the best use out of your vegetables. Okay. So what I decided to do was I'm going to cut these by hand today. Normally I would use my wrapper prep. There's just something about this that... Uh, that goes really good. So I'm just going to cut them into nice thin slices and you can see how easily, let's see if I can tip you down a little bit, you can see just how easily the Santoku knife goes through these carrots, just like cutting through butter. So simple. I love these knives. They are the Christmas gift for somebody that you really think a lot of. <laughs> they are the gift, like namely yourself. <laughs> but there's something that is going to last you your lifetime. These knives are guaranteed for life. Bernice, you know what I'm talking about. She is a uh, great customer that I know who works up north. And she has, her husband has, uh, cleaned caribou skulls <laughs> with the knife <laughs> and has managed to break the tip off of it. No questions asked. She just phones up Pamper Chef customer service or her local Pamper Chef lady and uh, they replace it for her. No charge, no questions asked, no nothing. These knives have a lifetime guarantee and they are worth it. Now, if you're interested in something like the knives, a couple of ways you can get it, you can simply buy them. That's always the first way, because they're worth every penny. They are a good high-carbon German forged steel, and they're made of one piece instead of being, um, you know, a knife blade stuck in the handle. They, uh, the tang goes all the way through, so that gives you the good weight and the balance. So instead of sitting there having your arm tired after doing all of this chopping, you are going to have a nice refreshed arm, ready to get going and doing anything else. And again, very sharp, cuts through it like butter, but because it cuts through, you don't have to do any of that hacking motion, and it's going to save you from being cut. Now they suggested six carrots. I happen to have three, but they're on the large size, so to my mind, that's done. Here is a product tip. If you find your celery going brown, keep it in foil. This is um, about a week in so far, not a mark on it. So there's a really good suggestion. Keep your celery wrapped in foil. 
I'm going to split it in half. I'm going to use my paring knife to split this one. And then I'm going to use the santoku as I did before for the uh, chopping. To each knife a purpose. Although if you needed two in your life, this is one, this is the other. Santoku for chopping and your utility knife for slicing. You just can't live without either of them. I can't. So our taste bud subscriptions. Hang on one sec, phone call. Sorry about that. All these interruptions in the house. Anyhow, our taste bud subscriptions, you get three full-size seasonings once a month. You get three recipes that are going to use that seasoning. You are going to get, on the back of the main card, you're going to get alternatives for each of those recipes. So you're going to get nine, in effect, different recipes. Each recipe includes separate suggestions for different items. For example, if you don't like the cheese tortellini, you can substitute meat. This one calls for using chicken inside, but because I'm using the meat tortellini, I don't need to put the chicken in. So that's another reason I use a chicken broth. So in goes the celery. It does call for spinach or kale, which I'm going to put in near the end. Now this one I'm going to use the utility knife for. And I find I like to just cut rows in and then just dice the onion across into very thin slices. Again, good cutting board will save your knives, good knives will save your fingers, and they will save your arms from being too tired. And the taste bud subscriptions, the idea behind these as a, is the same as the HelloFresh or the Chef's Plate. So it's going to give you something new and different, so it's not the same old, same old. It's got all of the instructions neatly written out at the back. It's got the suggestions for alternatives. So give it a try. Something new, something different. They have a new holiday taste bud subscription box. So it comes with all of the seasonings and recipes you need to make your holiday dinner. It comes with a nice holiday scraper. It's on special. I'm offering a promotion on it. Anyone who buys a set, we're working on selling 14 of them. Somebody will win a $60 shopping spree. And three other people will win a first prize, second and third prize. Okay, so what else have we got to put in here? We've got some tomato paste, olive oil, red pepper flakes, definitely. Now, I'm at the point where I have cooked so much that I don't measure pretty much anything. I have cooked so many times that I've got a pretty good judgment call on exactly how much is how much. So one tablespoon, two tablespoons. But if you're not a good, if you're not a seasoned cook, then what you are going to want to do is you're going, going to want to get our set of adjustable measuring tablespoon and teaspoon because they do exactly that. They adjust. So you can measure anything from a quarter teaspoon to a teaspoon in the one and from a teaspoon to a full tablespoon in the other. And that is all set to go. All I have to do now is I'm going to put it on to simmer. In the last hour, I'm going to put in the tortellini. In the last half hour, I'm going to put in the chopped spinach. And there, five hours from now, I'll be eating some great homemade soup. It's going to take me um, like no time whatsoever. But this afternoon, I'm going to make a loaf of the Italian herb bread to go along with it. Perfect for dipping. And the smell in this kitchen is going to be worth every bit of it. So think about a taste bus subscription. You'll find it's worth it. I have not had a recipe I haven't liked yet. I have tried it. I've 
I'm the biggest fan you've got of all of these, I swear to heavens. It's worth the new recipes, it's worth that new little something in your kitchen. Um, give yourself a try. You can try it for one month, you can try it for three months, you can try it for six months. It's up to you. You can renew it. You